If there's one thing that's going to be a disaster to your Sony camera, it's corrosion. It's the kryptonite for Sony. If you Google Sony and corrosion, you get a load of very angry customers saying that they sent their camera in for repair and it was sent back saying it's unable to be fixed due to corrosion. Well, what's a way to test to see if your camera is already going down this very nasty road? Well, one way to check is look at the screws. You see this white powdery substance on the screws? Well, if you lick it, it's not going to give you a whole load of fun. It's just letting you know that there's possibly corrosion inside. Before we get into it, how do we avoid this in the first place? Get one of these in your house, 43% there, that's the humidity level in the home. If it goes above 60, you're kind of not in a great place. If it goes above 70, it's really time to either put in a dehumidifier or run your air conditioning, which will also drop the humidity down. Lenses also don't like being kept too much above sort of 60, 65, that's when bacteria can start to form. Another way, get yourself like a Tupperware or a plastic airtight container, or even, for example, one of these bags, put your camera in, put some silica gel in there as well, and keep an eye on the levels. You could even drop one of those little meters in there, and that will basically keep it as clear as it can for you. Now, Let's have a look at some of the causes of concern, especially if you're an A7R2 owner. This guy, he sent his camera in, A7S2, and it was returned. Now, he did kick up a big stink about it, and Sony actually contacted him and said, we're aware of this video and the customer is in the process of being contacted today for a replacement camera. So if you've got the power and the means and you do kick up a big stink, likelihood Sony will probably reach out if you don't have sort of a massive social following, then reach out to one of the big hitters like Manny, Danny or Jason Vong, and they could maybe put a shout out on your case and get you some kind of replacement. But to be fair, if you've been hanging off the back of a speedboat in Hawaii, you're probably not going to get a replacement anytime soon. So where does all this problem stem from? Well, apparently it's caused by cold air coming in through here. This is the little flexi cable pull at the back. Cold air getting sucked into the camera, as you can see as we go through. These little ears up here, sort of Disney mini Mickey Mouse ears, are heat, cold air coming through here, and you have a recipe of disaster on your hands. There's the ears in the question, and they're directly attached to the motherboard. Here describes it a bit better. So processor hot, hot, cold, cold, and no one's gonna be really loving their day when that little mix gets inside their camera. Let's continue. This is some of what it looks like. Magnesium oxide corrosion. Ouch. That's really gonna give you a bad day. Wow. So aside from sort of being protective, I mean, it really is horses for courses. If it's just a camera to you, if it's just gear and you're making money from it, go ahead, shoot on the beach, get splashed with seawater. And when your camera breaks, simply buy a new one. If, however, you saved up for two years and sold your granny to buy your A7R2, then avoid shooting on the beach. Keep it with silica gel and treat it as well as you can. If you're going somewhere hot and you're arriving in an air conditioned car, put it in the bag with some little bit of gel in there and let it acclimatize. Go for lunch first when you arrive to your destination, chill out for an hour and let the camera get up to temperature before ripping it out the bag. Just think of it like a nice cold beer out the fridge. You go outside, put it on the table and your table gets wet. That's going to be the same for the camera. So you just keep an eye on that really depends how much you baby your gear, depending on what sort of lengths and levels that you want to go to. But 
really it's worth just buying one of these gauges you can pick it up from the electronic shop 20 bucks give you a little bit of peace of mind on how bad your house is i really didn't think i lived in a humid environment at all you know i'm not in hawaii it's not in much rain however when i brought one of these gauges and made sure it was accurate it was around about 75 percent so i just run the air con and that dropped it nicely so there you go if you're interested in the subject google sony corrosion and as usual guys it's been corrosively massively and most importantly expensively emotional